following gameplay includes explicit language. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, hello! Welcome to Club Chrisette. I'm your host, Chrisette, and welcome back to Richard and Alice. I know it's been about a month since we played this game, but I was busy playing more Halloween-themed games for October, and now that that's over, I want to get back into this game with you guys. I really do. So when we last left off, Alice had just arrived at the jail and had told uh, Richard one of the stories as to wha what she experienced in the outside world and sh how she escaped from a man who was holding her and her son Barney as prisoners in his basement. Without further ado, let us get back into Richard and Alice. Okay, so what are we doing? Um, I don't remember what we're doing. Hang on. Yep, I'm. So, I mean, I know you're still here. I've only just put it down. Most I've had enough. Okay. I'm so, I don't feel like reading right now. Maybe later. There's no point in even trying to get the bars open, especially with my bare hands. Yeah. I won't be able to reach it from myself, obviously. Okay. Ah, uh, I'm logged out. I need my stick again. Ah, uh, heck, where did I put it? I need my login stick to use the computer. Well, that's why I'm saying put it into the computer then, silly. Now then, I'll just slot this in here and we're in. Let's see. A few notifications here. Let's have a look. All right, let's see what's going on. Notice alarm test next Tuesday. Alarm test next Tuesday. Attention all inmates. Please note that there will be a test of the prison alarm systems coming this Tuesday. The alarm will sound for approximately one minute. Please do not attempt to leave your cell and do not submit a ticket to the guards unless the alarm continues. Well, let's hope it's not some ludicrous hour of the morning. Not that time means much down here. Okay. Safety and security regulations. ECU safety and security regulations. Please note that it is not permitted to attempt to tamper with your corridor's environmental control unit. So, the temper the thermostat, basically? Recently, we have been made aware of inmates attempting to manipulate the corridor's system using long instruments to push buttons on the panel. Doing so is dangerous and against prison regulations. If you feel too hot or too cold or feel the air is too dry or too humid, please submit a ticket on your computer. Thank you for your cooperation. Sale. <laughs> Do you want to beat the snow? Do you want to leave your home and be confident that... Oh, shoot. Sorry. My cat's walking on the desk and stepped on the computer. Okay. Then buy... This new set of snow-busting instruments, guaranteed to melt snow faster than ordinary flames. Entirely safe. <laughs> Click here now to buy. We're even getting spam in prison. Hmm, that's pretty sad. From this week onward, we will be adjusting the times at which evening meals are served. Your meal will be... Your meal will now be delivered between 6 and 7 p.m. rather than the later time of 7 to 8 p.m. Well, let's hope I'm hungry. Hey, Lynn, what can I do for you, little missy? All inmates should be aware that at some point this afternoon, Friday, scheduled maintenance will be carried out on the cell lighting's controls. Inmates may notice their lights flickering and in some cases switching off entirely. Do not submit a support ticket unless they are 
there is a prolonged issue. Flickering or a loss of light exceeding one hour. No other system should be affected. Cleaning service. We are currently trialing a manual cleaning service in which elig eligible prisoners will be able to provide will be provided with cleaning products in their cell. Should you be selected for this trial, you will receive a message via email. Oh, hooray! We might get to do our own cleaning. <laughs> submit ticket. There's nothing to submit a ticket about right now. Okay, then I guess we're done. Channel 1. Captain. We've been on Phobos five minutes and we're already facing a giant space lizard. Uh, oh man, I left my giant space lizard slayer costume on the ship. Christ, old children's cartoons. This one's based on the smash hit video game. I don't suppose they make those anymore. <laughs> Your new- Captain Han- <sighs> Hyone, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that. Hune, your new cyber augment should be strong enough to reroute your internal power core and transmit a distress signal to mute. But Captain, it's a prototype. We haven't done any field testing. We have no choice. It's almost on us. It's... I hear it's pretty faithful to the source material. Makes change. Mute, come in. Emergency. Oh, is this... Hate analog? If I remember correctly, there's no time. Activate Project Bride. Bounty Hunters and Cyborg Ninjas. Too far fetched for me. Almost makes me miss the sloths. I don't need to brush my teeth, shower. Yeah, I suppose I should get clean. Okay. Ugh! It's freezing cold! God, I hate that feeling. Brr, I need to get some clothes on. Quick! Ugh, that was horrible. Hello? Oh, hang on. Uh, hi, good morning. I heard screaming. Yeah, so, right. Don't take a shower just yet. Oh? Why? Hot water's out. I'll submit a support ticket in a moment. Oh dear. Yeah, not so good. Anyway, that's not important now. Sorry if I woke you. Did you sleep okay? Yeah, yeah, I did actually. It's been a long time since I've slept in a proper bed. I've got sheets and everything. I'm surprised. Surprised? Why is that? I would have thought... It doesn't matter. Alright. I take it you've seen your breakfast? It's not much, but it's good enough. It's a lot better than what I've used to. Oh yeah, of course, I see. Sorry. I'm so used to this place now that it's hard to think about what it is like when I first got here. I guess there are worse things to be these days than institutionalized. <laughs> yeah, there are. So, you've got your computer login stick, alright, yeah? You find it at your desk, Richard? Hmm? You don't have to fuss over me, you know. You don't know anything about me, what I've done, if I deserve your help. If I need it. No, I know. I, I'm i sorry. I didn't mean it like that. It's just, you're going through what I went through. I can relate. Well, regarding this place anyway. I guess I'm getting carried away. It's fine. I'm going to go and eat my breakfast now. Okay, look, sorry if I... I'll talk to you soon, Richard. I guess I should let someone know about the water temperature. Let's have a look. Let's hope they actually bother to read this. Here goes. Hello, fellas. The shower doesn't seem to be getting any hot water. I realize you're probably aware of this. No doubt numerous people have complained already. Or maybe it's just my cell. Either way, the temperature control of... Either way, the temperature control for the shower seems to be on the blink. And it'd be great if you could fix it. Sorry for taking up your time. Hope everything is well down there. There. That should do it. Always pay is to be polite. Come on, Richard.
So, I submitted that support ticket. That's good. I tested the water. You're right. It is freezing. Hopefully they'll sort it later. How was your breakfast? Is this the prison equivalent of talking about the weather? Maybe. Mind you, talking about the weather hasn't offered much variety for years now. At least prison meals change somewhat. <laughs> True. I enjoyed it. Thanks. God, it's been so long since I've been able to have a proper conversation. Sorry if I'm a bit rusty. I've spent the last year talking to a five-year-old. Sorry if I'm a bit condescending. So, I've always wondered, you know, if all the cells are the same. Is yours the same as mine, for example? This, I don't know. This is the only one I've seen. Well, bed, computer, TV are all on this wall. Bathroom's at the far end, and wait. What? You've got a TV in there? Yeah. Do you not? No, just a radio. I thought you'd been listening to the radio this whole time. No, I was watching television. I'm curious now. I'd quite like to see how the other half live, as it were. Hmm. Maybe there's a way to show you. The tray. As a mirror. Let's see, then. Seriously? Yeah, can you see anything? I can see... Um... A black shape. That's the TV. And, um... This isn't really working, is it? Well, I guess not. How... How about... If I hold it this way a bit more? <laughs> MTV Cribs behind bars. You can't see a thing, can you? Richard, I can barely see you through these two sets of bars. Well, I could see it made you smile anyway. Yeah? Yeah, I guess so. So that was the tour. I expect they're waiting for your TV to arrive. Like I said, that cell was partially collapsed up until recently. Isn't that a bit worrying? Oh, no, no. I'm sure it's fine. I think they just haven't finished constructing it yet. Are these places even safe? They're the safest places in the world right now, apparently. That's not too hard to believe, actually. Do you know how far underground we are? Not a clue. The elevator ride down here seemed to last forever, though. I was pretty out of it, to be honest. Felt like it was all over too quickly. I'm taking... They've got me taking these pills to make me feel okay, I guess. Do they work? No, not exactly, anyway. I feel... I don't know. Imprisoned. Join the club. There's something about this place, isn't there? Something not right? I don't want to sound ungrateful. I know that as far as it goes, we're very lucky to be here. But being so deep underground, knowing what's up top, it's weird. It drove me crazy for the first few days. I was alone, though. You'll learn to stop thinking about it eventually. I hope so. The outside world? How are things up there? I mean, that's a stupid question. I'm sure, but it's been a while. Do you want to know the truth? Yes. They're screwed. Things have gone to shit. I don't know exactly when you got here or how much you know, but things are very, very bad. Snow hasn't stopped, I heard. Snow hasn't stopped. What has stopped is the government giving a damn about anyone outside their little zones. Yeah, yeah. This was an issue before I got in. You... Oh, really? I thought you said you'd been here for years or something. No, <laughs> not quite that long. It just feels that way sometimes. Did you come here from one of those zones, then? Yeah. Not that I'd be there for long, though. They let you live in? They let you in? I've heard stories about people being turned away. Yeah, after some persuasion. We should have been there already. We made enough to trade for a place, just about. Then things went to shit. They stopped policing outside the zones entirely. What hope did any of us have, then? What about you? Should have been two. All military families were meant to have a place. Guess we would have been done had I not deserted. So, oh god. So your wife and daughter are- No, no, they're safe, I hope. I got them in. Wouldn't have turned myself in if they weren't safe first. 
You just never know, though, do you? When you're away from your family, you're helpless. The zones could have collapsed. They could have been dead, for all I know. I'm... I'm sure they're fine. Things seem tense, but okay. Thank you. So, yeah. I guess you can imagine what it was like out there. Pretty much. Last I heard, volunteers were still patrolling the outside, keeping things as safe as possible. Yeah. Th that happens. But who watches the Watchmen, you know? I imagine it's easy to convince the zone folk that everything's okay outside of the borders. They don't want to know about it. <laughs> I've seen that criticism leveled at a lot of things lately. Ignorance is bliss. Crime. So, a murderer and a deserter, hey? It's like the start of some awful joke. Only neither of us is laughing. Quite. So, that's actually what you're in for, then. Desertion? You never said yesterday. That's what they say. So... You really are a murderer, then? Damn, you got me. Wow. You must have been unlucky to get caught, I mean, these days, and... Sorry, this is all incredibly insensitive of me. It's just, you know, you don't seem like the murderous type. Neither do you. Why would I? Well, have you ever killed anyone? No, I haven't. Liar. It's the truth. You were a soldier, led a platoon. If I've got my facts straight from yesterday, I know all the wars you would have fought in. You mean to say you never killed anyone in combat? Oh, well, as a soldier, yes. I just meant... It's not killing when you're wearing uniform? If it's justified, what? No. I didn't mean that at all. What do you mean, then? I misunderstood the question. Apologies. No, I'm sorry. I'm being obtuse. I've never been a combatant. Just a survivor. I don't know what it feels like when killing is your business. You make it sound so awful. Is it not? Fair point. What happened after the basement? I hope you don't find this pushy, but yesterday you were telling me about how you escaped. You want to know more, right? Yeah, it makes a change from nature documentaries, I guess. I am not your entertainment. No, no, I know. I'm genuinely interested. It's just, well, it was a quip. You'll understand once you get a TV. It's all they show. Richard, I'm joking. It's okay. I'd like to talk about it. I think... All right, so let's get right back into... Oh, okay, hang on. I thought we were going to be lost in the snow forever. Then, finally, some signs of life. Mummy? Yes, sweetheart. My fingers are tingly. It's very cold, isn't it? Remember your old toy piano? Mm-hmm. Wriggle your fingers like you're playing it. That'll be fun, won't it? You're silly, Mommy. That piano got broke. Maybe you could hum me a tune while you play. That'd be nice. My chest hurts when I hum. Oh, Barney. We'll find somewhere warm soon, I promise. Look. There's something just up ahead. Ew! That's disgusting! Poor thing. I wonder what happened to it. Can we play with it? Barney, no. Of course we can't. It's a dead animal. But it might be lonely. Barney, you're sweet, but no. No playing with animal corpses. Come on. Barney, look. This looks nice, doesn't it? Mommy, I don't like it. Can we go back now? No, Barney, no. We can't go back. Please, Mommy. <laughs> Barney, for God's sake. Sniff. I'm sorry, honey. Look. You need to be a big, brave boy now. You can do that for me, right? Sorry, Mommy. It's okay, baby. Look, let's see if we can get inside. Okay, I can... 
Hello? Hmm. <clears throat> no answer, and it's padlocked. Hmm. There must be a way to get this open. Barney, let's go on a treasure hunt. Mommy, I'm tired. Just a few more steps? Nope. All right. You can wait here, then. But promise me you won't go anywhere. And try to keep out of sight. I promise, Mommy. I'll hide like a little mouse. All right. I'm trying to remember what all is where around here. I think there's a shed down here. I could be wrong, I could just be going south for absolutely no reason, though. <laughs> I know I don't want to the woods even during the day. Okay, so it's going to be over here then. Hmm, what's this? Maybe I should check it out. Lawnmower. It looks like it's seen better days. I guess there's not much use for it since the snow. <laughs> yeah. Cabinet. Let's see. It's locked. There might be something useful in there, though. Need something to prize it open. Still works. A vice. Workbench. Shears. Too big for the padlock, but, hmm, they might work on the cabinet. Let's see. Hang on. I'll just wedge these in here and... Damn, the shears have broken. Still, I've managed to price open the cabinet. Items in cabinet? Let's see. No tools whatsoever, but there's a key and a gun. I hate these things. Look like, looks like there's one bullet left. This isn't really something I choose to hang on to, but needs must. No, let's. Why would I do that? I want to read it. Caleb, this is for you. They've all gone, and there's nothing left. I've moved on, and so should you. The others will never understand, Jake. Nothing to do here. That won't work. That won't work. Hmm. It's a disused lawnmower. I'm trying to think. I know there's like something else around here. We need to come back and use the vice. What do you think? Sweetheart, what have you got there? Mommy, I'm feeling happy now. That's good to hear, darling. What are you playing with? A toy car. You used to drive a car, didn't you, Mommy? I sure did, Barney. A lot of grubs used to drive cars. <laughs> now everyone drives trucks. Not everyone. We don't have a truck, do we? Where'd you even get the car? I found it in the snow. I think someone left it here just for me. Vroom, vroom. They sure did, honey. Barney... Did you know a long time before you were born, Mommy and Daddy went on adventure in a car? We drove and drove and stopped at lots of places and saw a lot of amazing things. Did Daddy drive the car as well? He did. Daddy drove sometimes and Mommy drove sometimes when Daddy got tired. We did a lot of driving. Someday, I want to take you on an adventure, Barney. Mommy? Yes, sweetheart? You're taking me on an adventure now, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I am. This is an adventure, isn't it? It sure is. We're big, strong adventurers like you and Daddy were. 
Mommy, you can have the car. It'll remember you about your... Mommy, you can have the car. It'll remember you about your adventure with Daddy. Remind you. Huh? Oh, nothing. It doesn't matter. Thank you, baby. That's very sweet of you. Let's see. Is this the... I hope this is the right key. Damn, it's the wrong one. Statue. Let's see. Nope, it's just a statue. There's nothing else here. I don't want to sit down right now. I wonder if I can freeze away this board. No, it's too secure. Barney, can you come here for a minute? What's wrong, Mommy? Nothing's wrong, sweetheart. Do you know what this is? Um, uh, it's a gun like Batman carry. That's right. And you know guns are very, very dangerous, yes? Uh-huh. They make people go dead. They're loud and scary and you should never play with them. But Mommy has to use this now, Barney. So I want you to go over there, look away, and cover your ears. Are you going to shoot someone, Mommy? No, sweetheart. I'm going to shoot this padlock off so we can get inside. Does that sound good? You can have a little sleep then. Okay, Mommy. Be careful. That's done it. Gun's empty now. Might as well keep hold of it anyway. Barney? Barney! That was loud, Mommy. I covered my ears, but it still hurt. I hope nobody... No, that's fine, right? Are you ready to carry on our adventure, sweetheart? Yes. Okay, then. And we go. Stay behind me and keep very, very quiet. Oh, God, that's disgusting. Mommy, this place is smelly. <clears throat> keep your voice down, honey. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Judging from the smell, I think we're alone. The light's on, though. Hmm. Mommy, it's really stinky. I know, sweetheart. How about we take a look around and see if we can find a way to clean up this mess? We need to get the door locked again, too. How does treasure hunt sound? I'm sleepy. I know, honey. Not long now. But look, there's nowhere to sleep, is there? I feel all sicky. I'm not surprised with the smell in here. Let me take a look around. That's... Oh, no. We need to go inside. It's locked. Box. Open that up. Hey, Barney. Come look at this. I think it might be a toy chest. Can I play with the toys? If we can get it open, sure. What's in there? Well, I don't know. It's not open yet. Let's open it. If it's a magical toy chest, you have to say the magic words. Do you remember the magic words, sweetheart? Open sesame! Oh, it's locked. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Mm -hmm, that's okay, Mommy. Can we unlock it? We can certainly try. Small key? Well, what do you know? The key fits perfectly in the lock to this toy chest. Yay! Let's look at the toys, Mommy! Hold on a minute, sweetheart. 
Let me check to make sure there isn't anything inappropriate in there. What's inappropriate? Inappropriate. Things that wouldn't be right for you to play with. Like dollies? <laughs> no, not quite. More like broken glass and things. You can play with dolls if you like, Barney. Mommy, boys can't play with dollies. Who told you that, sweetie? Clifford telled me that once. Clifford? Who's he? My friend from before, Mommy, from home. Oh, yes, of course. The Petersons boys. Well, Clifford is a big silly, and you can tell him he's wrong next time you see him. Clifford went off into the snow with his Mommy and Daddy. Oh, so he did. Well, you can play with whatever toys you want, anyway. Huh, there's a toy robot. Look, Barney. Would you like to keep this? Yay! Thank you, Mommy. There's a little keepsake box in here, too. Old television. And today's weather is snow, snow, and more snow. It works, Mommy. No, sweetheart. Just static. Look, it's pretty, if you say so. Let's see, what's this note over here? Current inventory. Oh, God, I don't know what all of this is. It just looks like the same letters, but just rearranged. Okay. Cupboard. Tend food. Tend bin bags. Thank goodness. Hmm. There's a bit of paper in here, too. Oh my god, our inventory is just getting full. Let's take a look. Hey, there's a box of shotgun cells back here. No shotgun, sadly, but these still might come in handy. Let's have a look at this. Hmm, it's a bit old and dirty, but it seems to still have power. There's a baking tray inside, too. I'll leave it alone for now. There's no way I'm touching that with my bare hands. The clothes, then. A load of different clothes. Male, female, old, young. Weird. At least we can use this for bedding. There's something sticking out of the pocket here. Let me take a look. Honorable Discharge. This is to certify that Malcolm York Mosley has been honorably discharged from the arm. Okay. Nothing in there. Ugh, these must be weeks old. Wish I knew where they got it from, though. They are big wasters, Mommy. I'd eat it all my dinners. You did, Barney. You're a good boy. Jesus, look at this stuff. Mommy, do you think the bad men are coming back? What makes you think they were bad men, sweetheart? Sarah told me. Uh-huh. Who's Sarah? Sarah, whose car I found. She was scared. How do you know that? Look, I read it. Barney, you shouldn't just pick up every piece of junk you find on the floor. Cough. I'll read, I'll read it in a bit. First, let's clean up this mess. There, much better, don't you think, Barney? I just dumped those bin bags around the side for now. I'll deal with them properly tomorrow. Child's note. To your daddy, the bad men are noisy, and I'm scared of them. Sarah. Oh.
Are you okay, Barney? I feel a bit funny. Oh, Barney, you'll be all right. It's just because you've been out in the cold and haven't had a haven't had a sleep in a long time. When can we sleep? Soon, sweetheart. I promise. Mommy? Yes, sweetheart. Why did we have to run away from the man? Oh, Barney, please. I explained this to you. He was a bad man who was trying to hurt us. But there was a big door, and that meant the bad people couldn't come in and get us. I feel scared here. I understand that, sweetheart. But we're going. Damn it! And mommy was really scared back in the base in the man's basement. Mommy's good at knowing when to be scared. It's safe here for now, sweetheart. I promise. Just static. Broken piece of shit. Naughty mommy. <sighs> yes, mommy was naughty. Sorry, sweetheart. You okay, Barney? I think so. You know what? There's no way I'm going to be able to move all this. The wrong ammo for this gun. Have we even read all the notes in our inventory? Let's see. Note. The one from Caleb to Jake. Yes, we've read that one. Well, we have a keepsake box. Hang on. It's a keepsake. It's a keepsake box I found in the toy chest. I don't think it's locked. Let's see what's inside. A couple of things in here. There's a folded drawing tucked away and a key ring with a bunch of keys. Wonder why they've hidden them so well. Let's look at the drawing. Oh, that's kind of eerie. Um, let's read the rest of the notes first. We, that was the list, a handwritten note. What's this, though? Yorkie, while you were out, the silly bitch started bashing on the ceiling and shouting about her meds. She's going to bring the whole roof down. The others are getting distressed. Me and Jay are... Me and Jay are ready to lose our shit with her. Was tempted to cave her effing skull in, but D would go ape shit if he found out. You brought her here. Sort, sort your shit out, or Boss Prick is gonna, or Boss is gonna be short on collection day, and you know he won't like that. See, so that's Caleb. Jay is. Well, Jake, uh, we have a set of key rings. Can we unlock the door now? Surely one of these has to fit. There we go. No, Barney. You go over there and play for a minute. I want to see, Mommy. You can look in a minute. I just want to check it out first. But what if there's treasure? If there's treasure, sweetheart, I promise you'll be the first to know. Well, okay. Well, here goes. Oh, God, what happened here? What is it, Mommy? What is it? Just a second, sweetheart. You stay there. Uh, wooden plank. This looks like the perfect size to fit through the door handles. Not ideal, but it'll work as a barricade for now. There's nothing else of use in here. I'll shut the door for now so Barney doesn't see. Mommy, is there treasure? I'm afraid not, Barney. It's just a bathroom. I want a w I need a wee. You'll have to wait a while, I'm afraid, sweetheart. It's a bit filthy in there. I'll clean it up for you once we get settled. Really no treasure? Really, really. Promise. Right, let's get this door boarded up. There we go. Pretty tight fit. At least if someone tries to force their way in, we'll have a fair warning. The door now look the door looks silly now. It does, doesn't it? It's like a castle. This is our castle now, Barney. Castles are scary. They are a bit, yes. Right. Let's see if we can make up a bed. Your yawning's making me sleepy too. 
Can we have some dinner? Sure. How does sweet corn sound? Sounds great. Good boy. How about we eat it in bed? Like a midnight feast? Just like that, Barney. Mommy? Yes, sweetheart? What's upstairs? I don't know, honey. Maybe tomorrow we can try and find out. Mommy? Yeah? It's warm in here, isn't it? My fingers aren't tingly anymore. That's good, baby. You did well this morning. You're very brave. Mommy? Yes, Barney? I love you, Mommy. I love you too, Barney. Let's try and get some sleep now. It's been a tiring day. 5 days since Alice's arrival. Haha, <laughs> no, you're right. It is silly now that I think about it. Totally. I could sharpen the end of this brush right now and use it as a weapon. Should I be scared? Well, that depends. How much do you trust me? I think I trust you a fair amount. Plus, I don't have anything to Plus, you don't have anything to sharpen it with. Hmm, that's true. I guess I'll have to wait until they provide us with our own DIY equipment. Or home surgery kits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm actually looking forward to doing some cleaning in a way. A normal activity for once. You know what? Me too. And I hate cleaning. Always used to put it off. In a while though, right? Yep. Definitely not right this minute. <laughs> it's nice to smile and laugh a bit, you know? Yeah, yeah, it is. You're right. <laughs> you know what? What? I was about to ask you if you'd fancy doing anything today. Huh? I have no idea. My mind laps for a minute, I suppose. It happens, but no. I don't think we'll manage to get out for a day trip or anything like that. That's okay. Letting me down gently, huh? Well, it's the best get out I've been able to use. I'll tell you that much. So, are you doing anything tonight? Why, yes, actually, I'm going to spend my evening locked up in prison. Sorry. <laughs> it beats I'm washing my hair. Yeah, which reminds me, they never did fix the hot water. No, they didn't. Anyway, maybe we can do an IOU. Do something when we get out. Yeah, maybe. If we get out. I have to admit, Alice, I do find you quite fascinating. Oh. Uh. Oh. Sorry, that sounded a bit weird. But yeah, take it as a compliment. I will. Thanks. I think. But, um, how do you mean? I don't know. I get, I get the impression of someone who's lived an interesting life, even before the snowfall. What gives you that impression? I'm not sure. Alright, childhood. We'll go down the list. I suppose I often wonder about people's younger years, the events and situations that make you who you are. Go on, then. You first. Oh, there's not much to tell for me. I had a pretty average upbringing. Is there an average upbringing, really? I think so. Both of my parents were around. I wasn't really bullied at any point. I suppose I was quite a shy child. That's not an average upbringing, like, especially in modern day, like, bullying is very prevalent. So what turned you into the hardened army man that stands before me today? Huh. Huh. I don't know, really. I suppose I was bored. My confidence grew. I wanted to do more things, see more sights. It sounds silly, but... I guess it seemed like the natural option eventually. Hmm, fair enough. Hmm? No, no, nothing. Just thinking. Oh, go on, then. How about you? My childhood or my chosen career? Childhood? Well, both. I don't even think I know what your career is or was or... Uh... It's okay. Didn't really have one, if I'm honest. I had Barney when I was young. I was a student. It definitely wasn't planned. Fortunately, we managed to get by, for a time anyway. Barney's dad, uh, he had a bit of money.
My childhood, though, uh, it was okay. You sound unsure. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I am. I'm still trying to figure myself out, to be honest. There's nothing wrong with that. The journey of self-exploration takes so long. It's not just something you can figure out overnight. I wasn't exactly the most popular girl in school. Then again, I was okay with that. I always quite liked being the outsider. Me too! I got that impression too over the last few days. Really? In what way? I don't know, just something about you, I suppose. Fair enough. And I guess the other thing was that I was quite a sickly child. That's no good. No, it's not nice to be in and out of the hospital during the years you're supposed to be learning about becoming a real human being. Playing out with friends, discovering your sexuality, whatever. All those things kind of took a back seat for me until I was a little bit older. Do you mind my asking what was wrong with you? They never did work it out. They thought it was something psychological, an anxiety problem or something. I can't say I've ever been convinced by the diagnosis. At school, I used to feel ill every day, like I was going to pass out or something, and no one could ever work out what was going on. No one could make me better. Must have been quite difficult to deal with at that age. Yeah, it was, I remember. I remember just not wanting to be around if no one could fix me. Wow, sorry, that's a bit heavy. That actually is kind of a heavy thing that opens up a lot of interesting dialogue, honestly. No, no, don't worry about it. I'm not- I'm sorry for prying. I'm kind of used to that by now. I, um... Joking, Richard. You really need to get better at knowing when I'm joking with you. It's nice of you to take an interest. Really. But I'd like to note that that's a mental trap that some people, maybe more than I realize, fall into. That whole, it feels like, um, it doesn't feel worth it if I can't be fixed. That's such a horrible mentality to have because pretty much everyone has some sort of problems. Like, I have anxiety and I'm medicated for it, but... Even though I'm medicated for it, I still have anxiety-related issues. So no one can fix or take away my anxiety. It's still there. It's just tampered at this point. That's just an example. Do you ever think about the future? Well, I've got a while to think about. Not a lot now, haven't I? Don't say that. Why not? It's true. You don't have to give up on your ambitions. Not on account of this place. Richard, I'm going to be here a while. I'm just about coming to terms with that now. But you will get out. Hell, maybe they'll come to their senses up there. You should never give up on your dreams. You sound like some sort of motivational lecture for kids. Sorry, it's just, it's sad to see people give up. Oh, I'm not giving up. I used to think about the future a lot. I'm sure I will again, eventually. This is still a lot to take in, though, you know? I think it'll take some time to start thinking straight again. That's fair enough. Go on, though. What about your dreams? What are your ambitions? Oh, Richard, really? Are we having this conversation? Yes, why? What's wrong with it? Nothing, it's just... I don't know. I guess I'm not in the mood. Do I want to press or let it go? We'll come back to it. Fair enough. Sorry. Me too. It's, it's hard to explain. Another dark secret, huh? Not really. Well, kind of. It's more that I'm finding the future kind of scary right now, and even the little ambitions I might have had, well... Let's say I'm trying to let them go a little bit. 
I'm not sure I could face them any more. I suppose I understand. What about you? What are your ambitions? Well, I suppose that's the thing. I never really had any. You must have. Not really. Just, I don't know, to raise a family. To look after people. To help people. To do what I thought was right at all times. Isn't that what everyone wants to do, though? Or at least... Most? I mean, not exactly the raise a family part, but to look after people and to help people and to do what they think is right at all times. And you did it, right? Yeah. It seems like a long time ago now, though. Time to get thinking about your next dream to hit then, right? You're suddenly optimistic. Yeah. It's a bit easier when it's someone else. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? So, what is it? What? You've given me like 10 seconds to decide my entire future. All right, all right. You have some reprieve. But know this, next time we're back staring at each other across the corridor, you better have answers. I think I want to be an astronaut or a fireman. <laughs> you sound like Barney. How are you feeling, anyway? I'm fine, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I think the medication is actually working. I'm hot, though. Are you warm? I am quite warm, actually, yes. I wonder if the guard tweaked the... the thermostat earlier. Did you notice? No, sorry. Hmm. Guess we should submit a support ticket, then. Oh, Richard, you and your tickets. What? You and your tickets! You spend all that energy typing that one the other day about the shower temperature. Did anyone read it? How am I supposed to know? Well, when the guard next came, did he mention it? No, but... And they have to... And they actually fixed it. Does it look like my hair is washed? No, but... Well, then... You'll have to stay warm. Nah. What? Turn the temperature down. How? I don't know. Use your creativity. You managed to get that photo over to my cell the other day, didn't you? But Alice, the guards will be monitoring us. We just can't... Oh yeah, because they really laid down the law after that last stunt. Passing a photo across the hall is one thing, but tampering with the ECU? No, n oh no, tampering with the ECU... Surely a guy in prison for dereglation of duty isn't afraid to break a few rules. Alice, that's not fair. I... Aw, poor, poor Ickle Richie. Poor Ickle... Ickle? Poor Ickle Richie. What? What? Okay. Fine. Fine. I'll have to think. Wow. You really do bring out the worst in me, you know? Guilty as charged. Talk to you in a bit, Alice. Yeah. Speak soon. Taming. All right, everyone. But oh my goodness. There's so many topics I would like to talk about in this game. But I feel like this video is going to get extremely long-winded if I take the time to go into depth about all the complex topics about just human emotions and ideals and perspectives that kind of get mentioned between Richard and Alice. It's just going to become like a three-hour video. Alrighty, though. That's what we're going to call it for now. I'm definitely excited to get back into Richard and Alice with you guys, and hopefully when we boot it back up, I'll remember what we're doing in the cell. Otherwise, this is going to be very confusing. But until next time, you all have a lovely day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.